So he was perched on that rock and yes. stretching. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite a distance. That's true. Uh, in fact, this man was a very tall man. He was more than six feet high, six feet uh, tall. That's taller than the average French man today. Why? Richard Klein. Cro-Magnons arrived there with African body proportions, really adapted to much warmer conditions. When they arrived in Europe, it's interesting that their physical proportions are more sort of tropical African. They're long and kind of skinny. And that tells me that they had the cultural buffer, the clothing and the housing, that were the main thing that allowed them to adapt to very cold climates. But clothing and housing aside, anthropologist Nina Jablonski believes that Cro-Magnon had adapted in physical ways that suggested a colder, darker life. One of the greatest challenges in reconstructing the ancestry of humans is actually to put ourselves back in the time before humans started migrating all over the world. Because people living in equatorial Africa are living in a hot environment, the skin must have been able to sweat very efficiently so that people could keep cool. And also because that skin was naked and therefore was prone to damage from ultraviolet radiation. And so the skin of our ancestors was dark, full of the natural sunscreen, melanin. Sunlight produces vitamin D, vital for healthy bones. At the time my ancestors first ventured into Europe around 35,000 years ago, their skin was already getting paler in order to absorb more light. Almost certainly the first people to go into Europe were, were quite lightly pigmented. This is because Europe with latitudes in the, in the 40s to low 50s is well, a region of fairly low ultraviolet radiation throughout the year. Populations living in Europe who were not coastal populations had to have fairly depigmented skin in order to allow enough ultraviolet B rays into their skin to synthesize the necessary amount of vitamin D that they needed. Coastal populations were very interesting because if they had access to fish, a very vitamin D rich food source, then they could, in a sense, afford to be a bit darker than their hinterland brethren. But one of the things that we have to think about when we talk about the populating of Europe is that the people who went into, especially some of the northern areas, had certainly well, they were wearing clothes. They weren't naked. They were covered with furs or some, some kind of simply sewn clothes. And so they had less of their skin actually exposed to the sun. So that's something we have to take into account too. When you wear clothes, you have less skin exposed and the skin that is exposed has to do more work in synthesizing vitamin D. The Ice Age was to cut these first Europeans off eliminating any contact with the rest of the world.